Hello, this is Angela with Parkers Permaculture. To those of you who are here because you have purchased my dragon mitts pattern, thank you. And I hope this video on how to do a knit one pearl one ribbing for the top and bottom cuff of these mitts is helpful to you. If you are here just to learn how to do a ribbing for any knitted item, I hope this video will serve your needs. Ribbing is a combination of knit and purl stitches that adds elasticity to a garment. It's typically used at the neckline, waistline, and cuffs. Here we are doing a knit one, purl one ribbing and thus need a multiple of two stitches for this pattern. Since all of the possible sizes in this pattern use an even number of stitches, we are good to go. If you were using a knit two, purl two ribbing, you would need to make sure that your pattern is in a multiple of four. I'm going to start with my yarn in the back, knit one stitch, Swing my yarn to the front, purl one stitch. Swing my yarn to the back, knit one stitch. Swing my yarn to the front, purl one stitch, and continue in that pattern. While the finished result of a ribbing section of knitting is very satisfying and provides that elasticity that you want, the process is somewhat slow and cumbersome because you are having to flip that yarn from the back to the front and the front to the back over and over. It simply slows down the mechanics of your knitting. And so some knitters get frustrated with ribbing. I find that it is a process that I enjoy more if I am listening to a good podcast. For this pattern, when you're doing your first row of ribbing following the last row of adding scales, it can be a little bit fiddly because those metal scales lack any stretch. So just make sure that you are catching all of the stitches and the scales in your knit one purl one. It's really important with a knitted garment that you wear on your hands, especially one that has scales that will weight it down and stretch it out, that you have that ribbing up around the top of the mitt and down around the cuff. It helps maintain the shape of the garment with wear. If you aren't sure whether you should knit or purl because you've set your work down, if you see a column of V's, that is where you should be knitting. If you see a column of little bumps, that's where you should be purling. Here's a look at a finished pair of mitts with their nice elastic ribbed cuff. The pattern was designed with both the cuffs at the top and the bottom knitted a little bit extra snug because they do stretch over time when you're working with natural wools and with the additional weight of the scales. A big thank you to those of you who purchased my pattern. If you need additional help with any elements of these mitts, please check out the other videos in this playlist. To everyone, I hope you feel confident in Knit One Pearl One Rib for this and any future knitting projects you have. Thanks.